Dan, thanks for joining us. Um, before we get onto the rugby, we've got something in common, haven't we? Yeah, we're both handsome chaps, aren't we? <laughs> I was talking more about the scar on your neck. Yeah, we've both had uh, been through the mill with sort of uh, neck injuries, um, for obviously for different reasons, but mine was obviously playing rugby. When I first started off at the Dragons, making Heineken Cup debut, uh, mine was uh, sort of making a tackle at the bottom of a ruck and uh, everyone fell on top of me and uh, was in hospital then for France for a few days before being flown back and having neck surgery. So, um, yes, yeah, seems a long, long time ago now. But fighting fit now, when you talk about going through the mill, um, 13 years of rugby, have you ever had a more turbulent start to the season than this? Yeah, it's, it, it has been tough. It's uh, to not beat around the bush, you know, for, for many reasons. You know, obviously injuries, boys being away. And, yeah, it's, it's only as a really that, that can put it right. Um, it hasn't been through lack of effort, but we, we need to get back to winning ways because traditionally um, the Osprey has been, you know, the strongest Welsh region and uh, we're not accustomed to this, but it's only us that can put it right. Welcoming the European champions this weekend, so it's a tough game to put it right for. Um, how do you approach this one as players? We're underdogs, uh, there's, no, there's no doubt about that. Um, but, you know, we, we played uh, some good rugby towards the end of last season to put ourselves in a chance to be in this tournament. Um, even though we haven't had very good results this year, we're still enjoying being in the, in the top tier of uh, European rugby. Um, so it'll be, a, it'll be a good test on the, on the weekend. No one's expecting us to do anything, so I don't want to talk about it being a free hit, but you know, we'll, we'll go out there and, you know, and try our best. Recently found out that Mike Ruddock's now staying until the end of the season. Um, that shores things up a bit. What does he add to the table? Yeah, to be fair to Mike, he's been uh, you know, very welcomed into the group. He sort of took a back seat in terms of uh, the coaching aspect. So he's been you know, obviously watching our sessions and then he's sitting in the back of our, our meeting rooms t taking things in. And then if he's got a suggestion, he's been you know, putting those suggestions across, which you know, with, with the other coaches here has it, been, uh, been really good. But um, no, he's been a welcome addition to the squad. So and hopefully uh, he'll have some pearls of wisdom that will help us get back to winning ways. It's been a while out of the Welsh squad for you now. Um, you still got hopes to get back there? Anyone that play, plays in Wales and they want to play for Wales. So, um, yeah, there's, there's always uh, hope. And, you know, if, if I'm playing well enough, I'll, I'll be selected. And if not, if it's not meant to be, then it, it's not meant to be. But it, it won't be through the, the lack of not trying. Um, we'll just have to see what happens. So enough about rugby now. I know that your other passion, your love for life and what your parents do is farming. Yeah. So uh, should we ask you a few questions about that? Test your knowledge on some sheep farming? Yeah, fire away. <laughs> this is where my, my stock as a farmer goes from here to here. <laughs> what breed of cow is the biggest producer of milk in the UK? Friesian. Holstein, good start. <laughs> what is a Gloucestershire old spot? It's a pig. Very good. What name is used to describe a chicken that is bred entirely for its meat? Uh, broiler. Two, uh, two out of three. What colour is the face of a Suffolk sheep? Black. Very good. How many acres in a hectare? Uh, 2.4. Nailed it.